Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, teachers and students. Today I'm going to be talking about climate change. I am part of group 9, which consists of yours truly, Joakim Sim, Gan Kai Ken, Sudar Vanen, and Chan Yanzi. First and foremost, what is climate? Generally, it is defined as an area long-term weather patterns. The simplest way to describe climate is to look at the average temperature and precipitation over time. Other useful elements for describing climate include the type and the timing of precipitation, amount of sunshine, average wind speeds and directions, number of days about freezing, weather upstreams, and local geography. What is climate change? Climate change is the long-term alteration of temperature and typical weather patterns in a place. The cause of current climate change is, well, largely human activity, such as burning fossil fuels. Examples of fossil fuels are natural gases, oil, and coal. Burning these materials releases what are called greenhouse gases into Earth's atmosphere. Is climate change real? If so, what are its causes? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, climate change is definitely real. Direct observations made on and above Earth's surface show the planet's climate is significantly changing. Human activities are the primary driver of those changes. So what causes climate change? Burning fossil fuels or electricity and heat is by far the main driver of climate change. Emissions from these sectors account for nearly a third of global greenhouse gas emissions. Second, transportation. It makes up for nearly 15% of global climate change and pollution. It's the second most important cause of dangerous global warming. Manufacturing and construction are less often discussed in that transit, but they contribute nearly as much to climate change with 13% of emissions. These activities are the third biggest contributors of heat trapping emissions. Our food systems are also contributors towards climate change. Advocates say giving up meat, especially beef, will help curb greenhouse gases. Agriculture makes up 11.1% of global emissions. Forests trap carbon, so chopping, them, chopping down rainforests contribute considerably to climate change problems. Estimates vary, but deforestation accounts for almost 5.7% of emissions linked to climate change. Now, we'll be looking at the impacts of climate change. Firstly, climate change can be an imbalance to the ecosystem. This is due to climate change altering the way species lives and forcing them to mitigate extreme events and disturbances. Next, we'll look at the climate effects on human health. Climate change can increase the risk of health impacts such as diarrhea, effects on the body's nervous and respiratory system due to the increase of temperature, rainfall, and the effects of storms. Next, we'll look at the impacts of climate change to our surroundings, such as an increase in sea levels, rising global temperature, changes in rainfall, the increase of acidity levels in oceans, and the melting of ice caps. Lastly, we'll look at the impact of climate change to the economy, such as the relocation of whole towns, the shrinking of productivity in harvest, the prices of basic foodstuff and consumer goods increasing, and many others. What can we do to reduce the impacts of climate change? Plant a tree, recycle, use less hot water, change a light bulb, and use the off switch. Humans are challenged to find a set of policies, practices, and standards of behavior 
that provide long-term economic opportunities and improve quality of life around the world while maintaining a sustainable climate and wearable ecosystems. Recent analyses by US and international experts conclude that the world will invest in minimizing the amount of climate change that occurs in and adapting to the changes that cannot be avoided. Some of the issues are so big that involvement of governments will be required. This includes decisions about the best way to reduce a country's carbon emissions and where to invest funds in research on alternative energy resources. Other decisions are best addressed at an individual, family or business level. For each time a car, home, appliances or light bulb is purchased, a decision is made that has a small influence on climate change. But many small decisions made by billions of people can combine to have very large effects. An important way for society to help reduce the ecological impacts of climate change is by creating conditions that make it easier for species in ecosystems to adapt, that is, by reducing other human influence ecosystem stresses. Well thought out approaches to an investment in conservation, sustainable agriculture practices, pollution reduction, and water management can all help ecosystems withstand the impacts to a changing climate. Think about climate change in the context of your own life. What are some decisions you can make or have made the, that might help reduce carbon dioxide emissions? Can you think of an example of ways people in your community have reduced other human influences on ecosystem in your area that might make it easier for your local species to adapt to climate change? Climate change is a real and undeniable threat to our entire civilizations. The effects are already visible and will be catastrophic unless we act now. Therefore, we should take urgent action to tackle climate change and its impacts. This is a frequent asked question. Are people's lives really being affected by climate change? The answer is yes. Severe weather and rising sea levels are affecting people and their property in developed and developing countries. From a small farmer in the Philippines to a businessman in London, climate change is affecting everyone especially the poor and vulnerable, as well as marginalized groups like women, children, and the elderly. The climate challenge is large and complex, but it's very likely that many people working from many angles can help address climate change and its ecological, ecological consequences. Conclusion The world is being affected by regional climate changes, particularly temperature increases, and that those temperature increases are very likely to be a result of anthropogenic emissions of greenhouse gases. Some of the most promising ways to mitigate climate change are what we call natural climate solutions, the conservation, restoration, and improved management of land. In order to increase carbon storage or what greenhouse gas emissions in landscapes worldwide. By acting now, we can save lives money and avoid setbacks in the progress we have achieved to date. That's all from us. Thank you very much.